It's interesting that AMC's stock price has gone up by 1.1% after hours, while GME's price has gone down by about 15%. Based on the most recent GME data, AMC stock has given an FS of zero. As I speak, I will tell Tyler, please don't get too optimistic check to see how the AMC stock is doing right now. This happened at different times, with increases of about 4%. At one point, it increased by 5.5% for the whole day. It began to get worse, and in the end it the reason for this is that AMC is currently in talks about reorganizing and refinancing its debt. AMC wants to add liquidity to their balance sheet, and the only way they can do that is by misleading shareholders and raising more money. No one is going to give them free money, so good luck with that. Also, they expect to lose more money in 2024. It's not going to be the best year ever. This newfound urgency to get AMC's liquidity bolstered on their balance sheet now there's, there's talks going on between the lenders that lent AMC billions of dollars during the pandemic era to survive and this bolstering of liquidity on the balance sheet really only happens one way, and that is giving the markets a commitment not to dilute shareholders and then diluting the crap out of them, whether that commitment is three months, six months, who knows, I doubt it would be longer than that. But that is a very realistic possibility at this moment in time. I think the markets are maybe opening there too, because AMC needs to get the stock higher. On the other hand, they're also in talks to potentially restructure their debt. So imagine this, and, and, and this is why AMC stock was doing better, at least for the start of the day today. Uh, you know, it was actually a really good day at the start of the day. Um, imagine this, though, AMC comes out tomorrow or any day, and they say, we're not going to dilute shareholders for the next three to six months. Oh, and by the way, the debt coming due in 2026, we still have $3 billion coming due in 2026. But... We are going to uh, go ahead and restructure that debt with JP Morgan and only pay 7% on that debt that would be just boom, boom, lots of good news. And uh, I think that would be, uh, you know, very A-creative for AMC stock and send the stock higher. So I think either way you look at this, you are going to get um, restructuring of the debt. Maybe it'll be easier for AMC to pay that debt off. Now they're really trying to focus on getting more liquidity on AMC's balance sheet. I don't know of any other way that's possible without diluting shareholders. You, you're not going to dilute shareholders at $4 per share because then you're going to become a penny stock, potentially get delisted. I mean, AMC dilute shareholders. Now you're going to the twos. Anything gets worse in the markets. You're going sub a dollar. That's not a prime situ or optimal situation to be in um, for AMC. So keep that in mind. That is why AMC stock rally today. I do think you are now kind of in this bullish skew environment. As long as the markets don't collapse or anything crazy, then I think AMC stock. Likely trends higher now, I got something for you there. Because the markets towards the end of the day today did in fact well feel like they were collapsing even though the move that we've seen today really wasn't that crazy. We've seen a lot bigger moves, but you were up close to half of 1% at one point today on the NASDAQ and you closed down a third of 1%, a pretty sizable uh, sell-off into the end of the day today. Now, a lot of people are speculating on what caused this, but basically the easiest thing that I can say that. Cause this is uh, end of the quarter rebalancing by portfolio managers now. What that means if a portfolio manager uh, needs to stay at, you know, bench give weights to the SP. Let's say that NVIDIA has a 5% share in the NASDAQ. To show what I mean, let's look at Apple, even though it might not be the best. It's hard to say for sure, but the number is probably close to 5%. NVIDIA had a lot of growth in the last quarter, and it could now make up as much as 7% of Vanguard's or another person's stock. The end of the month or quarter is a typical time for Vanguard to sell stocks that are too heavy in a benchmark portfolio in order to stay in line with the SP. A lot of people think that this sale is what caused the drop today. One possible explanation for the observed weakness near the end of the day is that the data released on Friday, especially the PCE, along with personal spending and a speech by the Federal Reserve and Powell, could have played a part. It's important to remember that today's markets are closed on Fridays, which makes it harder for buyers to protect their portfolios that day. This means that the only time they can do it is during the week before Friday. It's important to keep in mind that Thursdays are usually not good days for hedging because markets are volatile before the weekend. Because of this, the things listed above happened in the markets near the end of the day. I think that the way you see AMC now is positive, unless there is a big change in the market. Let's take a quick look at GME and see how it's doing right now. Today, trading in GME went up by 2.5% during normal business hours, but it went down by 1.5.3% after hours. In the past, the price fell to $12.55 per share. Its current trading value is $133 per share. As was said in the last video, if your business wasn't making much money, your stock price would probably drop to about $13 per share. I specifically used this gap to talk about the level at about $13.50 per share, 
but you could make a different case. At $13 per share, there would be more support, and I did predict that there would be a better chance of an upward beat, possibly because of good news about your stock trading skills, Ryan. The situation looked good because you went above your 100-day moving average, which could make the markets feel good. The many green dots, technical indicators, and progress signs on the chart show that there is a good chance that prices will continue to rise. However, consistently low profits are not a good sign, and this is not a GME quarter where the company's poor performance can be directly linked to a specific problem or factor. It is now 700 p.m., and the darkness is getting worse. I either lost power or the internet, or both. But GameStop didn't meet Wall Street's expectations in the fourth quarter of the company reported revenue of $1.79 billion and about $0.21 cents per share. Analysts had expected the company to report $2.05 billion in revenue and about $0.30 cents per share. Instead, the company made $63.1 million. This means that GME is still profitable and making some EPs, and the stock isn't that expensive based on AMC stock's earnings missed by about 30%, so there's not much you can do about it. Bad earnings are likely to lead to a bad outcome for this stock, so that's it for now. Let's look at the Ortex data for AMC stock and quickly go over any economic data we have tomorrow that could affect the markets. That's all for this video. We'll see if we can hold power and keep the internet on. The amount of brief movement is 14.37%. At the moment, there is a deficit of $154 million, which includes the 2.737.68 million shares that are currently deficient and can't be used because they are on loan. Today, there was a lot of short selling. The cost of borrowing $54.5 million, the utilization rate was 1.11%, the utilization rate was 7.1.2, and the short score was 7.0.24%. There is a rising trend of more people selling short in AMC. Fans of bulls who want to see another AMC event that feels like being squeezed will enjoy this, even though it's not very amazing. It's a good sign that AMC went up by 1% after hours. My view is that the stock would have gone up along with GME, but that did not happen today. Based on the 50-day moving average, which is currently worth $434 per share, our offer was turned down. During the day, the highest price seen was $430 per share, which is about $0.04 cents below the 50-day moving average. Once the price reached that level, there was a noticeable slowdown in the rise, which led to a sharp drop during the last few hours of the trading day. According to this technical indicator, which isn't the most reliable, I think that AMC is now on a good rising trend. Let's look at any economic news that is available for tomorrow. The pace of things will be slow and steady tomorrow. Even though there is a sale for a seven-year bond, which is a medium-term bond, there aren't any major events going on. When it comes to ties, five years is a pretty short amount of time. Because a bond that lasts 10 years is usually thought of as longer than one, a bond that lasts seven years would probably be considered medium term, since it's in between the long term and short term categories. The possible effect on our markets depends on where the desire for the bond comes from, though the information you gave us isn't very detailed. Waller is going to give a speech tomorrow night at 6 o'clock that doesn't have any extra information in it. Things that have to do with the mortgage industry in our economy, like oil, refinancing, mortgage applications, and market data, will not have an effect on the stock market. At the moment, that's all of it. I can also quickly view everyone's earnings calendar. Carnival Corporation is going to be there tomorrow. Pay before the market immune responses that are stronger, that's all there is to the matter. Within a few hours, the process of urban growth will begin. This movie only has that one thing going for it. After business hours tomorrow, Playboy, Restoration Hardware Braze, and a few other less well-known names will also report. Please think about hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Please share your thoughts on this issue. Hey there, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you in the next show.